Hi, this is Andrew from uh, Andrew Vickerman Event Timing. Uh, yeah, this is just a quick video to explain to you how to use the online portal to submit a virtual results. So far, we've done uh, four virtual races, of which three have used the portal. I thought it was about time we just went through a quick explanation. Um, right, so the seven to come. If you go to the events tab on our website, avtiming.com, it will bring up this, which is a list of all the events we are due to attend. The next seven are actually virtual races. So we've got the Dave Clark Five, the Stone Five, Air Products, Clayton, South Cheshire, Westbridge, and finally, Ipstones. You can enter them all here on the right hand side. And then you can also have a look at what other races were due to attend. So, the day before the race, you will receive an instructions email from ourselves, which will contain the link that you need to submit your time. So let's have a look at an email. So here is an email that um, is for Simon Clark. I've diverted it to myself to show you. Um, and it says, Dear Simon, thank you for entering the race. Um, can all participants be mindful of social distancing? Uh, it'll tell you when to complete your run and if there is any additional requirements. Um, and then it says, once you've completed your run, use the personalized link. Um, and then it says you must complete the elapsed time. Now there is a difference between elapsed and moving time. Moving time is when you go out for a run, if you stop to tie your shoelace or have a chat, then moving time will actually remove those times where you're stopped. So it'll only give you the time where you're actually running. However, elapsed time is the time from when you step out the door to when you actually finish your run, irrespective of what you've done in between tying your shoelace, etc. So this is more realistic of a race, which is why we ask you to do that. It'll also ask you to put your elevation in or maybe um, something like your last mile time or something like that, um, that we can actually then grade you on. But all the other elements are optional. However, you will need to submit some evidence. Um, you can click the link as many times as you like to update the submission. So if you've got something wrong or you need to change something, feel free to go back into the link. Um, and then after the submission cutoff, which is uh, described here, we will email the results and um, the organiser will post any memento that they may have committed to. So let's have a look at this link. We click on the link and it will bring up, as I say, the personalised link for the person. So this is the area we're looking at here with all the information. The top section is just a bit about the actual participant. So the first name and the surname, if you notice a spelling mistake on there, feel free to change it. The club, um, again, that's changeable. However, um, only use it if you have changed club. Don't actually change the, um, the name of the club. For example, Newcastle Staffs AC. If you change that to Newcastle AC or Newcastle Running Club, it will then remove you from the, um, the actual team competition because it will be spelled differently. So yeah, don't change it um, unless you've actually changed your club. Um, no staff's group, here you can see group G. Um, it might be that there's no group in there and you want to put a group in, so you just click on the list and select the group that you're in, and that's it, and that will update automatically, ready for when we produce the results. So going on to the results, here you can see the next section down, down it says complete time and elevation. Now these two are stars, so these are compulsory. Elapsed time, as we discussed, you need to do it in hours, minutes, and seconds. So for a 5K, I'm presuming most people will be on the zero here. You'll need to do the zeros, otherwise it won't let you go any further. So for example, um, 24 minutes and 15 seconds this person's done. And they did 200 feet. So that, that time and elevation is now submitted. Oh, they need to submit some evidence. So um, the first one down is for providing a link. So you can see there's quite a few that have been put in previously. Um, and your profile needs to be public. So in order for me to be able to see it. So I've just grabbed up here, Steve McCann's. So all you do, you go into your room and click copy. It's slightly different, obviously, if you're doing it on your phone. Um, however, it's still achievable. And then you go back into here and just 
it's in and it's there ready to be submitted and I can then have a look at that as soon as uh, it comes through to me same with an attachment uh, choose the file so you go into your desktop and click on one and it will upload there's also a second one there if you've got more than one you want to submit now if you've not got a watch that records time or an app or anything um, you won't have any evidence so what you'll need to do is click on here and evidence and then it'll ask you for a route description so what you want to do is type in as much information um, in here where you want to type and then that's what I've got on map and check oh yeah it was 5k um, it was 200 foot um, and then basically validate your um, your submission um, then also down here this is new so you can see um, you can type in oh, I lost my gun times watch dies um, so anything that you might need to make me aware of uh, feel free to put that in the comments section at the bottom and then once you've done all that um, as I say all this is optional so you might just want to put straw in or you might just want to upload that or you might need to put no evidence um, yeah then you click next and it will bring up this section which just then carries on save your changes and it'll say thank you for submitting your time and that's about it um, as I say if you want to now you can go back in and you can click on it again and all the information will be there and you can change it, take that as um, get rid of that and then change again and save the details and it'll say thanks for submitting your time and if you go back in again as you can see it's, on, it's got rid of those details and it's on with them there you might want to change your time to 20 minutes um, you've got your time wrong, change it, and then if you go back in, you can see it's gone to 20 minutes. And yeah, it's as simple as that really. Uh, the time will then come through to us, and we will check it over, check the evidence you've given us, and validate it. I hope that is an explanation um, that will help you. Um, as I say, on the an iPad or a phone, um, it's very similar. Um, might be a slightly different layout, but essentially they're the same. Thanks for taking the time to watch the video. If you have any questions, um, drop a comment below and we will attempt to answer them as soon as possible. But yeah, that's it from me, Andrew. Um, have a look at our website, which is avtiming.com. And you can see all the results, events and any information about our services on there. Thanks very much. Bye.